Yes, I was just saying this histogram, uh, spectrogram, sorry, the uh, spectrogram tool is a bit heavy. have to change it, especially, well, the easiest thing will be just to reduce the optional window size. So not let it go over whatever, 10 seconds. Yeah, I can actually hear the, the server going, all the fans and everything. When using it with a slightly larger um, uh, window, time window. Right, so we're doing some stuff for this competition, which is about to end, but we, we weren't actually competing. It's a Kaggle, uh, Kaggle competition. Uh, we had something running for it. They uh, trying to pass the data, but the, the data set is not great, to say the least. Yes, we had this app script. So it's a Flask application. It is being deployed, but uh, yeah, I didn't even put the link to it on the main site. Well, mainly for several reasons. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's deployed on the site. If you want to get check it out, uh, yeah, I'm happy to share the link. It's just uh, uh, some things are not working. Yeah, the data set a bit. Uh, the way the that is being stored is very peculiar to say the least so yeah it's this uh, was quite a bit of a learning uh, experience some time to realize that i probably don't want to be looking at it because it's uh, yeah there's a lot of issues with it that i already covered uh, before um, yes i was trying to pass it there's all sorts of things about the eg actually not matching the spectrograms they are in uh, you know different time a uh, different time windows the spectrum is 10 minutes the ecg labels are uh, uh, 50 seconds there's too many unnecessary labels is it worth uh, continue looking at this data set or not uh, probably not another option we probably yes someone mentioned this one to me recently and we might be jumping on uh, using that uh, a different uh, data set however yeah there would be a lot of problems with that one as well uh, there's about 76 publications on it already and uh, also seizures sleep apparently sleep studies like it's a whole cohort of um, different experiments i think to look into it so if we already have this uh, data set parts and everything, uh, we want to train a simple fuzzy logic on it and then compare results to some of this uh, alias, alias, a few. So they published the solution. Yeah, we can go with this one. It's a convolutional level. A neural net, five stages, channel mixer. They published the code, would imagine. Yeah, the code is uh, public as well. Hi Said, how are you? Thanks for joining in. So it might be a delay in the, in the response. Anyway, what I was saying is that we eventually, so this competition have ended, we eventually want to take the model and try and compare it to a basic 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 fuzzy logic a system so similar to this bot that we have here let's uh, identify normal abnormal um, ecg in this case so we'll be doing the same with eg i'll be on looking at the a couple of uh, parameters so essentially you have your same as for ECG pretty much. Well, not, sorry, not, not the same, but I'm saying as simple as, if not simpler, you would have your frequency, amplitude, um, you would have channel interactions. Um, and um, yeah, this is just a single, assuming a single channel ECG. Um, noise, yeah, we would not be doing much filtering i assume the signal was already filtered even if not digitally it was filtered by the hardware of the recording 
equipment and that data was collected by Harvard Medical School so must be correct right so must be great quality yes yeah, so looking at 360 parameters yeah would be good to know what are they um, I don't think there would be any EEG expert who could um, name that many parameters so we have to question what the parameters are well so, so I'm pretty sure some of the models will have like thousands of uh, parameters in the model so maybe 360 is not that bad you do wanna I don't know if they cover it uh, in here and or not probably not but uh, it will be just interesting to know which uh, parameter had the stronger impact on the performance of the algorithm right because yeah if i'm because eventually i want to deploy uh, something you want to have you know the data set and you have the label which is part of the data and then you have the prediction of the model so we could do the that neural net uh, model and then the basic fuzzy logic and see how they compare to one another that would be good that's the general idea we actually have a list of uh, so we have some changes on um, on this side trying to update the about section uh, we have potentially two students projects yeah if you are interested in a project maybe talk to your professor whatever your lecturer see if they are happy for you to do a project um, ba -ba -ba. yeah it's a bit of a but yeah primarily interested in the xai explainable stuff stuff that we can actually you know see into that black box make the black box transparent maybe there's another little black box inside but <laughs> at least uh, you'd have uh, we want to have some sort of transparency into the algorithms that we deploy and the models so the models essentially can be if we treat the fancy model as an expert uh, using fuzzy logic we could actually um, simplify it um, well because uh, yeah, we normally don't need the fancy models. So if you have, uh, like in that case, uh, how many 360 parameters we want to essentially, I'm pretty sure, you know, we can eliminate half and then potentially another half and another half uh, of this number and the model will be still performing quite well, not using too much electricity. And uh, the other question is, of course, how applicable, how easily you can replicate it onto you know your performance onto another data set because that's normally quite problematic yeah they're using this divergence it's not much of an explanation is it it's how you a uh, code that calculates uh, the score some example yes yeah, something like this would actually be of interest can compare this to a uh, D prime with the Ch GPT. Um, I wonder if it will suggest the uh, D prime as alternative. You can do a bit of a comparison between them. Well, I didn't mention uh, a D prime. Well, it's from uh, detection theory. That's the one I know. Yeah, back to that uh, competition for a second. Again, let's end it. We just we do have the data, so I'm kind of familiar with what the data is doing. But yeah, uh, this uh, figure is quite uh, a useful in the sense of um, describing the data set. So I have these different types of uh, edge cases. So in this case, those are the labels. So this is supposedly 10 minute uh, EG. For which you actually do not have the raw EEG, you only have the spectrogram and some uh, 50 second samples of the raw EEG. So essentially, I think they want you just to look at the spectrogram 
You essentially have one, two, three, four spectrograms in this uh, one uh, image there. So I don't know if that's the seizure there. Yeah. You should, you should be able to see the... Yeah, those images meant to be clearer. In this case, all the reviewers agreed and placed uh, um, all the annotations uh, labeled this segment as uh, seizure. It was odd that in some cases you had about six reviews and some you had only two or three. This, uh, these are edge cases because there was essentially no agreement between the different experts. Some uh, what's called proto, it's somewhere in between, even though there is also a high a disagreement, so it's pretty much similar. Ah, in this case, they labeled it as uh, Ava. Yeah, it's really odd that you have 10 uh, seizure labels and then 10 Ava. The question is, is it, uh, yeah, it would be really interesting to know if it's a different reviewer or the same reviewer. Just looking at the different parts of the same uh, 10 minute window. Anyway, there's a lot of questions about this uh, data site and the way it was uh, labeled. I wish there was the, I don't know if the original thing was published as well. That it actually just has the raw data from which, you know, just the raw EG, what was recorded from the device. So not filtered or anything. One where we could generate uh, spectrograms uh, out of it. So I don't know when they were labeling, were they looking at the spectrograms or at the time series at the raw EEG signal? Yeah, we might then not be using this data set anymore. Yeah, there's some problem with the ECG, so what makes you think that the EEG might be problematic as well? There's something there, low uh, frequency, on the left side, you can barely see it. Yeah, maybe not plotting it correctly in terms of uh, color intensity. Yeah, that looks like it should be yeah, marked as Ava. That's correct. <laughs> well, correct in the sense that yeah, there's something wrong with the recording. It's odd that this uh, spectrum doesn't correspond to what's in the signal. Yeah, there's just some weird stuff in it. But the spectrogram is different. So the spectrograms, yeah, in many cases, do not match to what you see in the raw data, which is unusual. Yeah, you would expect something like uh, this for your baseline. This looks more like EEG. It was marked as uh, LPD. Anyway, yeah, I think we need to know when to uh, give up on the data set as well. I think this will be it. Right, so we have this uh, alternatives to callback labeler divergence. Let's read about D prime quickly. As we said, there's this uh, student potential student projects that are available. Yeah, that this one will be focusing on explainable AI, taking black boxes, uh, making them slightly more transparent. And the second project is mainly, mainly around visualization of data. And we're also updating this, uh, or trying to update, this is an old list of uh, resources. Skip the first one. Yeah, we'll update these data sets. A list of data sets. Yeah, there's this uh, data set search. Apparently you can even search data sets. Why this one doesn't have a term already in the a URL that has a open source uh, license. Yeah, the Kaggle one doesn't mention it, but it should be open source as well. This is nice that's actually being mentioned. It's from 2020. That files it's only 100 kilobytes. Yeah, you need to log in. Yeah, so I want to do like a list where we'll have parameters like uh, is it yeah, what should the columns be? So we'll have the name, name of the data set. And then essentially we'll have uh, things like accessibility. Uh, so that will be a score depending on is uh, login required or not. Uh, things like that. Should it include um, 
hardware as well no or software uh, maybe yeah with data set you could have an uh, api access and we have this table in html table border one fine have a data set search platform yeah let's pop it in here okay so we have a data set <coughs> yeah so we want a table of eg data sets right well not a number of subject data format yeah those are really good those are really good suggestions uh can you actually populate the table <laughs> Can you, can you publish results? Uh, number of subject, data format, yeah, yeah, whatever. Data type, access, yeah, link. That's kind of important. Just give me a random example stuff. Access, public, restricted. Yes, the idea was to have uh, stroke specific data sets, then uh, epilepsy, those are all uh, EEG, then generic EEG, general health, yeah, get rid of it, get rid of it, to make sure these links actually still work. Well, and the main thing is the quality, a uh, quality of the data. Uh, can we expand the table with uh, things like quality of the data? A uh, potentially accessibility might be more options than uh, public or restricted. Uh, maybe give it uh, maybe have some sort of score for accessibility. Uh, another thing we're interested in is if the data is processed pre-processed or raw from the recording device additional parameter could be if uh, ecg is present or any imaging or any other recording modalities also would be absolutely great if you could start populating the table as well with actual existing data sets we didn't provide this one yet why is it subjective okay let's uh, share the whole no i didn't say that <laughs> it's it's the transcriber making assumptions uh, so assuming profanity is clear why the quality assessment is uh, subjective and uh, this is my whole html page above uh, with a bunch of links we would like to use that to start populating the table with real data sets yeah, unknown is okay. Unknown, unknown. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of unknowns, I get it. I uh, need to add the license as well. Uh, we also need to have a column if there's an API available. I mean, yeah, it's a tricky business, isn't it? Um, well, because if we have to download, then we have to store the data on a server which will be costly i mean if i can recover the electricity cost that will be great by the way we do have our first uh, patreon supporter yeah we have johan matthias supporting us on the patreon thank you johan okay so we currently have the following html we actually do want to go one by one and add each data set into the table and you use the links provided to fetch the necessary data from the description of the data set can you actually use the links provided in the html to fetch the necessary data and we also would like to 
add or change the column names we would like to include the license type now actually the accessibility should cover it should it should be g or something and this is where it says uh, you can supposedly access the data but then it says uh, log in to access the data files log in log in log in yeah the usual thing with the uh, high triple e everything is either behind the paywall or log in or well, the other thing we could scrape uh, it's actually probably be better if we scrape um, google scholar and then we also have this search yeah we're happy with these two searches fixture and the data set search by google for which i forgot to enter eeg yeah physionet is a is a quite a few okay, so we have this EG does that search. We have Figshare, a hey, Google, just put Google, there is a resources page and currently just has a list of all these uh, data sets, mainly for EEG. We could add the ECG to it as well. We're making a table, oops, table with a data set compare. And we have number of subjects. Yes, it's important date data format year of release a data type a yeah data type should be more in terms of um, the file format data processing yeah if it's if that is processed pre-processed or raw a additional modality so normally if you have eg data it might have uh, ecg in it as well is it 50 patients it is see if it's actually scraping the website or is it taking it from my html don't like when it starts uh, analyzing stuff um on the server just wanted to generate text yes we already have all that most of it and the link actually works uh, yes why are there different versions of it doing more uh, imagery tasks you can scrape the keywords oh, that's exporting the citation for it then the other question is uh, if there is an api for it or not it's a json file that's a description can we just download stuff yes we can so that's a you know a thumbs up for accessibility we didn't need to log in um, so over here accessibility and supposedly download that without login yeah, there's not much in that json file and uh, that's for sure All right so those are edf supposedly edf files you can view the file um, details just one of the patients yeah let's continue for now and uh, get back to it we have to download all files from <laughs> some <laughs> unknown website <laughs> you want to do it what's this license general terms of use can we add a second entry in the table we have this link and the following information in a text file below five healthy individuals it's a bit odd when they record from healthy subjects because how what makes it a stroke uh, data set electrical stimulation yeah i'm not sure if it should add the uh, can download without the uh, login considering we haven't actually downloaded the whole data set uh, yes quality unknown well we wouldn't know until we uh, actually get the data so yes as you can tell this might be a long-term project and if anyone wants to help out uh, more than happy to collaborate on this oh matlab matlab files is not is not great well it's okay can um the python can read the can parse uh, mod files uh, can you add the third entry 
into the table uh, using the following link. Why is it a hypothetical? Just um, fetch data from the following link. Yeah, Creative Commons is nice. Above is data from the page. Can you uh, turn it into another entry into our HTML table? Yeah, right. I'm not sure where it's getting the raw thing from. The description doesn't actually mention. Now, yes, an important thing we need to mention, uh, you know, who are the subjects? Are they human or not? So I assume in this case it's 31 reds. If it does mention it, the files are mapped. Yeah, that format map. That's correct. Uh, now the subject, you know, type speech, uh, speech to mention uh, like in the other data sets. Uh, what are they? Does this one say she specifies human? What would the EEG pass? What the EEG pass? An actual pass? <laughs> is something lost in translation? Or is it? Looks like a pass. An actual pass, right? That's interesting. There's a pass with EEG equipment driving around Europe somewhere, collecting data. Um, and I assume it's human. Anyway, I might continue this next time. Let me know if you check the, the website. Have any questions, suggestions, complaints? That will be of great help. I'll see you next time. Bye.